reporter is Deutsche Bank's Matthew Nicknam joins us. M Matthew, uh, why isn't this a good entry point? We've got Zoom, you know, it's year to date gains uh, are, are just about gone and it does have a plan to build itself a platform valuation wise. What are you comparing it against? Yeah. Hey, John, thanks for having me. Um, well, I mean, for starters, you've got a company that had been growing triple digits year on year over the course of the pandemic. As you noted, we've seen growth now decelerate to about 54 percent. We're looking at that growth now going to 32 percent next quarter, 16 percent the following quarter and getting into the low teens before you see a reacceleration. And so for a stock that's traded traditionally in the north of 30, north of 20 times forward sales, I'm not sure that a mid-teens growth profile the next couple of quarters warrants that type of superior valuation we've seen in the past. So, but if it does become an enterprise mainstay in the communication space, if it can hold its own against the slacks, the teams, et cetera, and also have more of a consumer awareness and brand name, isn't it worth more than some might give it credit for? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great question. I mean, we're not ready to jump in right now and buy the dip. And I think the issue for Zoom is that it's going to take a little bit of time to really harden and bolster this enterprise platform. And while that's going on, you've got about 36% of revenue that's still coming from smaller businesses. These are customers with less than 10 employees. And as you noted, that's this cohort that's much more prone to churn as you've got the economy globally starting to reopen. Obviously, there's going to be puts and takes with the Delta variant and such. But at the end of the day, when you've got north of a third of the business under pressure and you've got this ongoing investment to build out this enterprise platform, we're not sure that happens overnight. And we do think it'll take a couple quarters for that to take hold. Yeah, no, it's interesting, Matt, talking about that churn. I'm curious, as you look at the churn in the small and medium-sized businesses and you look at the competition, what do you think the biggest threat is to Zoom, both in terms of those small players and as well the, the enterprise clients? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a great question. I mean, I, when I think about small business and that cohort of customers, really the biggest threat is economic reopening. I mean, you had a scenario for the better part of the last year where, you had businesses on lockdown. You had people, I mean, effectively needing to use Zoom. And so they're the first call when a business wants to keep operations ongoing. As you think about the economy reopening, there is going to be this headwind. And it's not just limited to small business. You're also going to have enterprises more deliberately looking at solutions for hybrid work and what does the future of work look like. Obviously, as you think about upmarket, you've also got some larger peers which are making a play for that enterprise customer as well. Think about Cisco WebEx, Microsoft Teams, and some of the freer options like Google. And so from that perspective, it is choppy, but you know we very much agree with Zoom's strategy of building out this enterprise platform, adding on phone, events, uh, going after the contact center as a service market with the acquisition of Five9. But we just think it'll take a little bit of time to play out. And while you've got this churn headwind, you will be looking at a much different forward growth profile relative to what we saw during the pandemic. 